to get you here quickly. You should start from here and let us take care of everything in between. Flextronics SBS, innovative manufacturing services. Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton. I'm at Electronica 2012 and I'm joined by James Nikolai from Fantastic Sourcing. I want to start by complimenting you on the name of your business, Fantastic Sourcing. What a really first class name for the company. Thank you tell so me, much. Tell me what the company does and, and, and where the name came from. The name came from a late night uh, party, uh, Fantastic means Fantastic IC, Integrated Circuit uh -huh. Sourcing. So our speciality is to um, help our main partner, mm -hmm. EMS company, to fill these small gaps okay. when they have a delay in uh, delivery from their uh, direct manufacturer or distributor. Mm -hmm. uh, so we take the mission yep. and we start to search the world right. for the best source. Okay. And we pick the stock uh, directly at the source okay. um, and help them to deliver within the shortest time. Uh, okay. And, and they, ha they, they occasionally obviously have these needs for very specific parts and, and that's because there's been some other challenging issue in the supply chain. Where do, they, where do their problems arise from? Many different uh, uh, reasons. It's not a perfect world. Mm. We are not perfect. Uh, even the best companies in the world manufacturing chips in Fillon, <coughs> yeah. Texas Instruments, uh, ST Micro, Intel, sometimes have a problem in delivery on time mm. in their order, their schedule order. So imagine a uh, supply chain stop at Flextronics uh, or uh, San Mina. Um, yeah. Big problem. Big problem. Big problem. It represents many uh, hours of uh, labor work mm. stopped. So we help them to fill this gap. We are like the firemen. Yeah. Okay, you're the emergency service. And um, in terms of the companies you're dealing with, are they, are they all EMSs or are some OEMs or is it just anybody that's, that's manufacturing? We have the chance to have a real diversified mix from Japan. Mm -hmm. We work for uh, bank, machine uh, counting uh, okay. notes, yeah. detecting a false currency, mm -hmm. to uh, Chinese uh, manufacturer like Emerson, okay. making power supply for Dell computer. We work for the end user like Alstom in mm -hmm. France. They are doing the fast speed train uh, yeah. in Shanghai, in yeah. Poland, in France. We work for the small EMS company from Japan to Brazil. Okay, so pretty much wherever the requirements needed. And, and once you get a requirement, which will be for a, a shortfall in components, what, what makes you able to fix the problem that they can't fix themselves? Is it, is it the network you have, or is it the effort you're able to put in on, on one very small project? It is both. Okay. And we really take the mission, like Mission Impossible, from okay. our customer, yeah. and we dedicate 200% uh, on it. Mm -hmm. It's not like pushing a button and uh, being uh, like a robot. It's all my, our team which will work for the requirement. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to find a solution anyway. So we put four people, we put ten people. Whatever's needed. Whatever's needed. And of course, with the time, we have developed links, direct links mm. from key manufacturers of components, Panasonic, yeah. uh, Vichy, and their franchise distributor okay. network all over the world. We yeah. know the single reseller authorized reseller mm -hmm. of the brands by country okay and we also mix all this with the excess inventory from our own customer all this okay. makes solution we verify this all components go through us and we check of course with microscope with loops okay check the, the authenticity of the yeah the authenticity of course we have to fight against this uh, against the counterfeit fake components yeah, exactly this yeah. is the main the, our third uh, work is the quality control. Yeah, so you have to police that because that's your reputation is on the line as much as any More than 10 years, we don't want to disappear on one mistake yeah. after 10 years of efforts. Okay, and, and in that 10 years, how is, how, what, what's the growth been like over that period for your, for your business? It is uh, like the, you know, sinusoidal uh, uh -huh. okay. business cycle, like yeah. that. Yeah. But if we may put a medium a line through yeah. line it is steady nice steady growing. growing so yeah. our objective would be to open a, a new branch office in india okay in two years mm -hmm. this year we are participating uh, for the first time in electronica okay and the show has been good for you very well it yeah. has been uh, a long preparation two mm -hmm. months ahead 
Yeah. Because people uh, don't stop randomly no. uh, at your booth. Yeah. They come because they have rendezvous. Yeah. With yeah. You. Because you've you've invited them and you've made an appointment, and that's important to do. And and I noticed over there you're you're on a uh, French pavilion. Uh, yes. does, do you have some? Yeah, there's some government support there to to promote the export of French businesses. Yes, we had been granted uh -huh. kind of support. Okay. For example, the cost of the booth would be yep. uh, half Reduced, yep. to be simplified. But we have been selected. Yeah. To apply, uh, yeah. we are the only French distributor. Yeah. Uh, among ten uh, other innovative companies. Yeah. yeah. But we had to fill some uh, dossier and yeah. to be selected. Yeah. We have been followed closely for eight years. Okay. And after they selected us. Yeah. So That's very good. Uh, it's uh, belonging to a plan. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Three-year plans. Okay. To of promote. prospection, to yeah. promote yeah. travel in Germany. Okay. And India. your company is based in in Paris or? In the French in the Riviera, yeah. Nizza, okay. come okay. to see us in yeah. Nizza. Of course. Well, exactly, Sofia Antipolis, okay. which is a little Silicon Valley, okay. located in France. Many okay. uh, companies have located their R&D yeah. um, department there. Yeah, and I, I like the way you talk about your business as being, you know, like the fire brigade. But it, I think of it as like a an, an emergency service. But it's an emergency service that kind of happens in the background. It's not. It's not present. You know what? What you're there to do is make your customer look like there's nothing wrong, and just maintain that continuity. So you're kind of a, an unsung hero there. I really don't like people to have troubles, mm. to have headaches, and uh, I don't want to speculate on mm. their problem either. But it's true. To I will be 40 yeah. years old next week. To find any utility mm. uh, in your daily job. Yeah. It's nice. So yeah. when you find a solution, you deliver on time, yeah. you are it really works. satisfied, yeah, happy. Absolutely. And your customer is too. Okay. Well, James, thanks for stopping by and well, chatting to me. I'm thanks for the chance. Fascinated by the business and happy birthday for next week. Thank uh, you. Thank you thank so you. much, Phil.